Hello everyone, my name is Charles Longoni and today I will show you how we can identify and decrypt an encrypted file with RC4. We will learn how to identify RC4 and create a Python script to automatically find the resource and decrypt it in order to extract the encrypted configurations. So, let's show us. So, first of all, let's take a look in RC4. RC4 is a cryptography largely used by malware authors to hide things. RC4 is composed of KSA, Key Schedule Algorithm, and PRGA, Pseudo Handle Generation Algorithm. The key schedule algorithm is used to initialize the permutation in the S array. It's also called substitution box or S box. And here we have the initialize. And after that, we have another loop using the key, uh, key length, a module, a mod model with the 256. And this will create a permutation. So S is then processed for 256 iterations in a similar way to the main PRG, but also mixed in a byte of the key at the same time. So after this pattern here um, of the key SA, we have the PRGA. It's basically another loop using the, the the permutation generated by key essay and this produce a string which are XORed with the plain text so we can identify RC4 look for this pattern we have the S box initialized we have another loop with the key using a as, uh, Xbox initialization position, a key length, a module of 256, and we have also another method to generate the output using XOR and the permutation. So basically, that's it. How we can identify it in our sample? Hemcos was the sample used for this example. It is uh, 32 bits, yeah, compiled compiler C, C++, entropy is not high, so it's only a simple binary. If we can, if we see in the resource, we can see we have uh, resource called settings and data here is not clear that is RC4 I, I've already renamed things before and I will search search for settings in Ghidra why? because I would like to see what will happen with this resource let me get some reference about this resource. And here we have um, a method that I've renamed to move malware load settings. And why I renamed to malware load settings? Because basically we will find the resource load, get of the size of the resource and leave the function yeah. uh, let's search for reference to this function it's this happens here and if we take a look in the source code we can see two functions here that I've already renamed as KSA and PRGA why? if we take a look in this function we can see here the 
S box, initialize, permutation, and after that, the another loop. The same pattern found here. We can see uh, initialize, and after that, we have the key, key length, and module operation. So here we have initialization with 256. After that, we have the module with the key length, the key, another module. So it looks like for me, we are dealing with RC4. And if we go back to the function called PRGA, we can see here the same pattern found in the PRGA suit code. So we have a loop where we have XOR with the next bytes and modules with 200. 56. We can see the same here. We have okay, here is next uh, just convert to decimal. So we have here modules, the same pattern. We have an XOR operation and we have the return. So to validate it. Let's open inside the debugger. I put before some breakpoints. I put breakpoints on our load settings and in the PRGA. So let's run. Stop it in the our load settings. What is important is see the address return for load resource we can see here that this content is the same so let me open here again same content of our settings file so 60 e4863b 4863b it's the same and in the size of resource function, return 265. So this is our resource length. If we analyze the rest of the function, PSA and PRGA, I will run, so stop here, AP is the same, HC. 6866. We can see here parameters passed to the these functions. This this function. So let's take a look in this content and in this size. So we have here the size and we have here the key. And it's interesting to see that the size. 60 is the first byte here and define the length of this key so 6 byte we can see here 6 bytes until chte here we have 6 bytes chte so we can copy this key and try to validate in Cyberchief. So RC4, our key is in X and the content is probably the rest of this file. So let's copy. Uh, our input is also and now we have the config 
decoded, decrypted via C4. So now we have the key. We know how to decrypt it using our C4. So let's create our script. So we can see here after the function, the PRG. Just to confirm that now we have the same content found here. So for the Lord one, the DNS, DNS, okay, the same content. So let's code our script to automatically search for the resource file and decrypt the function. It's a simple Python script. We just initialize the cipher or C4 with the key, and after that, decrypt the, da the data and print the message config extracted. We also use the same decode here, team, and this function. Okay, this function is to decrypt. This function read resource in hexadecimal. So we will get the P name, the resource name, and we will uh, create a loop in the resource uh, until our name, resource name passed, could be the same of the what the P, the P library found in our resource. After that, we get the size, the size, and the offset and return as a string, as a X, sorry. Uh, we had, we, re, we will receive some args, so I can pass a minus F and minus R to the file path and the name of the resource, and that's it. So, uh, we have here our args will read the file after return the file we'll get the key after the key we get the data and print the, what we decrypted so let's try this script python and the name and r minus r the setting settings so the resource name so after that we have decrypted our string you use it in this hum cause mower hum cause mower um basically that's it we understood how ours for works use python to help us and now we have the decrypted config so that's it thank you for watching i hope you enjoy learning this is our website securechose.com please don't forget to subscribe and if you have any questions Call us 